He is the train spotter who became a TikTok superstar, introducing millions of, millions of us to the fascinating and exhilarating possibilities of Britain's railways. Well, while we wait for him to pull into our station, let's take a look at how Francis Bourgeois made trains cool again. Any minute now, we're going to see a Class 59 come through with some absolutely brilliant honks. I cannot wait. A bandolino! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Goosebumps all over my body. I'm train spotting on the West Coast Main Line today with my friend Joe. Hello. I'd like to give you a, a train whistle. I think you should give one to the to the ref in the pram. <laughs> Sometimes they don't blow it that well. <laughs> Here she comes. You know, that is pure joy. Isn't it? Yeah, today it's full steam ahead for Francis as he's just released his new train spotting notebook. He's travelling in now to tell us all about it. All aboard! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's quite fast! <laughs> well done! <laughs> Well done. <laughs> oh, Francis, come and join us. That's Welcome. Epic. That's good, isn't it? It's so, it's so nice to meet you. I'm coming in for a hug because we've absolutely loved you during lockdown. You made lovely to see you. Smile I think, so much. Thank you so I think much you were on me. Skype with us in October I was going to say, do you want to so take first, that one off? First time in the studio. Yeah. All right, they're sorted. Okay. That's not my usual headpiece. No, so. it's no. a GoPro normally, is it? But we couldn't yeah. link it up to our system. Well, it would ru ruin the hair and makeup. Yeah. Too. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so it's great, to, great to have you here. Yeah, I mean, it is you. literally pure joy that we see and that your f followers see. What about you? When was the first time that you got the buzz from a train? Well, I, I think I was sort of born with a natural affinity to mechanical things and. I can't remember the exact point, but I just remember being obsessed with the trains at Wilson Junction Station. So, you know, I think it was at a point where my memories were just starting to form to what I know now. And that, what, what we see in your videos, that kind of real, like what we're describing as pure joy. Yeah. For you, you describe it as the similar sort of effect that somebody would get at a, like a concert or a, or a football match. Yeah, yeah. Well, my sort of thousands of people and a goal being scored is, just, is the sound of a Class 37 roaring by. You know, it some, it, sometimes it brings tears to my eyes because it is such a, an emotional stimulation. Yeah. Um, and, you know, for, for people looking from the outside, they're like, why is, why is this guy like being completely crazy about trains? But actually, if you think about someone individually in a football stadium, yeah. like, w if they were going crazy, people would be like, what are they doing? But yeah, yeah. if there were thousands of people, it then it's okay. normal. Mm -hmm. So you um, you moved down to Somerset, um, and uh, and it's and you had a train set, which yeah. you then got to about sixteen and sold the train set, bought cool clothes because yeah. it was affecting you know sort of friendships. Well, I was aware at school about what was cool, and you know I wanted to make friends and I wanted to fit in, and I identified you know what would help me fit in that would be sort of cool clothes and you know I, I felt like that at the time it felt like the, the natural progression but I you know realized sort of selling my 060 pannier tank you know my my first model model uh, locomotive it was it was it was a sad moment and I'm now building up my model railway again so so you got it back do you yeah. wish you hadn't sold it yeah. Honestly, because I lined up all of the locomotives, all the little people, all the houses, and it was it was like a sort of a real sort of goodbye moment. Mm. And it's to like the end of Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the end of Toy Story. But to, it's like I know that they're out they're out there somewhere. Yeah. So I'm thinking, oh, it'd be an, an amazing an amazing mission to try and get them back. You know? Where did you did you sell them over sort of a, it, a website or something? It was, it was on eBay. Well, mm. listen, if you've got his trains, give them back, quite frankly. Yeah. Um, university was a big changing point for you because you went to university, you studied there, and you began to sort of embrace all of that childhood hobby again, and you were allowed to. Yeah, and I think because of 
the environment, there are so many people, so, so many different backgrounds, so many different interests. You know, the, I, I found that the, the, the coolest of people really mm. had their own kind of style and identity. Mm. And, I, and I, I met a friend on my course called Luke, and uh, we, we went out um, sort of seeing trains together. And it was like, like I really got into it and started checking the uh, train tracking apps and stuff like that. And it really came back in full force. Yeah. So it was your the, the TikTok sensation. Was it Ben, your brother, that, yeah. that took you out to Froome Station? Um, and, uh, and, and is that where you put the headgear on for the first time? So, actually, the, the headgear goes way back. Does it? So, I, I used to have a GoPro when I was about 13 or 14, and I used to, you know, stick it in the fish pond and film the fish, uh, you know, put it in the sink and pour water on it. And uh, I thought, um, oh, I'll just... I'll jump on the trampoline and see, and see what that... What, what effect that will have. The train's coming in from Victoria <laughs> Station in the back. <laughs> because, we've got, because we've got track outside, we have to keep our doors open. So that's the workings of Television Centre going past the door, which normally the big, the, the big doors are shut. I think it, it could be. I think be, it actually. is. Yeah, I, had, I tilted the GoPro onto my face just to see kind of like the deformation on the trampoline. I, I, and I found it hilarious. And I remember when I wanted to sort of sh show myself with, with the trains, I was sort of doing a selfie, but I couldn't be in the moment at all. So then I remembered that I had a hands-free method of filming my face from when I was 13 or 14 and brought it back. Well, it's be now become your trademark. Mm. That close-up shot <laughs> um, is... Uh, and this is, this is what we love. This is the, when, <laughs> when you are fully up close. Yeah. Um, and to see that, to see that joy in your face. Yeah, and the, the, so that, I mean that's one thing. And you've had a huge success. Two point six million people following you um, on TikTok. There, this is the book yeah. because you get. I mean the 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 clips are seconds long. There is so much more behind this and your story. Yeah, There's massively. some lovely things in here. Also things when they go wrong, but also yeah. the bucket list. Yeah, the yeah. Bucket list of things that you want to do. Yeah. So some of these things I've ticked off already. Um, but there, there's, there's so much out there that I want to go and see and experience and trains that I want to ride on. But also that bucket list serves as a, as a, as a list for people who want to take up train spotting yeah. for, to, to, to take it off themselves. So. Well, you've, you've shown that it is so much more than the, you know, we, when we catch trains and there's always a sort of handful of people down the end of the track who are taking the numbers down and checking it mm. all out. And obviously, you know, that's an amazing hobby for them. Well, um, what do they think about you? Have you been fully accepted into that tribe? Well, it's, it's a real mixed bag um, because I am sort of the most well-known sort of train spotter at the moment. I am kind of representing the community as a whole. Um, so, for, for a lot of people, a large majority, you know, I'll see them and it, they'll be really lovely and really embracing. And I do definitely feel a, a part of the community and embraced. But there are some people who I, I feel like are slightly frustrated that my represent, representation of train spotting isn't really their, their, mm. their own, um, what they know train spotting as. So, for some people, as you say, it's kind of taking down numbers and just being in the moment. Whereas for me, it's, you know... Sharing it. Well, yeah. you learn from being a child, you be you, because that's all you can be. So, you yeah. know, keep doing that. Um, there's also the, the Channel 4 YouTube channel. You've got your show on there. Sam Ryder is your co-passenger, Jesse <laughs> Lingard as well. As we saw in the clip there, Thierry Henry is a massive fan, Joe Jonas. I mean, good luck, because <laughs> this, is, this is incredible, from keeping us all entertained in lockdown. Yeah. You're doing so well. Well, I can't wait to share the, the, these, uh, these Channel 4 episodes and the book as well. There's so much stuff that I haven't really sh shown yet and I just yeah. can't wait to... Just finally, what is number one on the bucket list? Uh, going to Japan. Oh, the bullet, bullet train. train. Yeah. Yes, um, just, got it right. and yeah. Not, not e and even sort of more than just the bullet trains, I love uh, the suburban lines. Mm. Um, they're these, like, point-of-view um, sort of driver videos on YouTube. And I, I watch them kind of obsessively, and they kind of go through the wonderful landscape, sort of starting in the cities and through the fields and up into the mountains. Well, I'm sure you'll do that at some point. Yeah, no, no doubt. doubt. You'll definitely see that. Thank you very much. Thank very you. nice to meet you in person. Nice to meet you. Oh, are you reversing right out? You want to? Yeah. yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah. I'm take you... You, you. We'll we'll look after that. We'll look after that. Take, Just go yeah, and enjoy go, the go ride. Yeah. Take care. See you and later. You, and Bye you, now. You look after yourself. Steady as you go. Still to come. Uh, beep, beep, does a cup of tea or coffee keep the doctor away? Well, Dr Zoe will be telling us whether your morning cup could really help prevent serious illness. That's right after this. Bye, Francis. See ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs>